Genesis chapter 19, Holman Christian Standard Bible. The two angels entered Sodom in the evening as Lot was sitting at Sodom's gate. Then Lot saw them. He got up to meet them. He bowed with his face to the ground and he said, My lords, turn aside to your servant's house, wash your feet and spend the night. Then you can get up early and go on your way. No, they said, we would rather spend the night in the square. But he urged them so strongly that they followed him and went into his house. He prepared a feast and baked unleavened bread for them and they ate. Before they went to bed, the men of the city of Sodom, both young and old, the whole population surrounded the house. They called out to Lot and said, where are the men who came to you tonight? Send them out to us so we can have sex with them. Lot went out to them at the entrance and shut the door behind him. He said, don't do this evil, my brothers. Look, I've got two daughters who haven't had sexual relations with a man. I'll bring them out for you and you can do whatever you want to them. However, don't do anything to these men because they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of the way, they said, adding, this one came here as a foreigner, but he's acting like a judge. Now we'll do more harm to you than to them. They put pressure on Lot and came up to break down the door. But the angels reached out, brought Lot into the house with them, and shut the door. They struck down the men who were with the who were at the entrance of the house, both young and old, with a blinding light so that they were unable to find the entrance. Then the angels said to Lot, do you have anyone else here, a son-in-law, your daughter, sons and daughters, or anyone else in the city who belongs to you? Get them out of this place, or we're about to destroy this place because of the outcry against its people is so great before the Lord that the Lord has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, who were going to marry his daughters. Get up, he said. Get out of this place, for the Lord is about to destroy this city. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking. At daybreak, the angels urged Lot on, get up. Take your wife and your two daughters who are here or be swept away with the punishment of the city. But he hesitated. Because of the Lord's compassion on him, the man grabbed him, grabbed his hand, his wife's hand, and the hands of his two daughters. Then they brought him out and left him outside the city. As soon as the angels got, out, got them outside, one of them said, Run for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere on the plain. Run to the mountains or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. Your servant has indeed found favor in your sight. And you have shown me great kindness for saving my life. But I can't run to the mountains. The disaster will overtake me and I will die. Look, this town is close enough for me to run to. It is a small place. Please let me go there. It is only a small place, isn't it? So I can survive. And he said to them, all right, I'll grant your request about this matter too. And I will not demolish the town you mentioned. Hurry there. Run there for I cannot do anything until you get there. Therefore, the name of the city is Zor. The sun had risen over the land when Lot reached Zor. Then out of the sky, the Lord rained burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord. He demolished these cities, the entire plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities and whatever grew on the ground. But his wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. Early in the morning, Abraham went to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah and the, all, the plain, all the land of the plain and saw that smoke was going up from the land like the smoke of a furnace. So it was, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and brought Lot out of the middle of the upheaval when he demolished the cities where Lot had lived. Lot departed from Zor and lived in the mountains along with his two daughters because he was afraid to live in Zor. Instead, he and his two daughters lived in a cave. Then the forest burned said to the younger, Our father is old, and there's no man in the land to sleep with us as is the custom of the land. Come, let's get our father to drink wine so we can sleep with him and preserve our father's lime. So they got their father to drink wine that night, and the firstborn came and slept with her father. He did not know when she lay down or when she got up. The next day, the firstborn said to the younger, look, I slept with my father last night. Let's get him to drink wine again tonight so you can go to sleep with him and we can preserve our father's lime. That night, they got their father to drink wine, and the younger went and slept with him. He did not know when she lay down or when she got up. So both Lot's daughters got pre became pregnant by their father. The firstborn gave birth to a son and named him Moab. He is the father of the Moabites today. The younger also gave birth to a son, so she named him Ben-Ami. He is the father of the Ammonites today.